<laughs> okay, so talking about movies, right? You're not only into movies, but you also do documentaries. So which one is less stressful if you have all the resources available? Uh, I don't know. You're young, so I want to inspire you. When we started movies, okay. we had a lot of people who wanted to do movies. Everybody who left school because of school fees or became strong head or was driven, wanted to be movies. It was where everybody met. So there was a lot of animosity, lots of quarrels, lots of borrowed ideas from Nigeria. They wanted to implement a Nigerian system in a bicultural environment like Cameroon. And I saw poverty coming. So I looked at the industry and I said, industry was going to make money in the next 25 years and I will not be poor for 25 years. So what will I do? As a journalist, I'll pick up experience and what was causing the problems in the movies, you'd have some real great movie makers mixing up with some real bad movie makers. Mm -hmm. But the real bad movie makers are more on Facebook than the real great movie makers. <laughs> and the real bad movie makers are the stars because they change their addresses on Facebook. And the real good movie makers are not there because nobody was watching any movie. Everybody was making comments from pictures. Mm -hmm. And people do not want to face reality. So it was like more of... This man passed this man, but nobody had the facts till today. You don't have the facts because you already watched the movie. Oh. So I didn't want to stay in that poverty. So today I have more than 250 documentaries. And when I look at them, I just smile because that's where I raised capital to be who I am today. That's where I raised capital to, to, to own my restaurant because everybody was diverted that way. And I, and I remember I wrote a letter to the station, the, the director of CRTV, and I dropped a note there that I could do beautiful documentaries if he could listen to my DVD. And he listened to my DVD and caught me. Wow. And they bought the first 26, bought the 40, and then I decided, oh, if my stories are good, move around the world and sell them. Why do you want to sell them only here? Wow. And I have more than 70 something stories not sold because I, I left that particular department. I'm out of it.